Hey, hey, guys. All right, so we are in the airport. About to board, <laughs> I said airport, about to board our plane to go to Disney, uh, where we'll be doing a workshop for our ultimate achievers. So this live video is to basically end out our time that we've had at our Global Mastermind uh, here in San Antonio, Texas, a Global Mastermind that we had joined, uh, joined through Success Resources of America. If you've ever wanted to build your capacity, gain more, check them out. For sure, Success Resources of America has been an amazing part of our uh, coupling um, and the education that we've uh, enjoyed as a couple. And I can't wait to get to the next one. Where's the next one? So the next one is in Ches Chesapeake Bay, and so we'll be attending that. So David, what did you uh, gain out of this last well, uh, I, I few days? I love the Global Mastermind because it covers all five of the five habits of success. Number one is personal growth. So this is part of our, our commitment to ongoing personal growth. As a lifelong learner, we think that's very, very important. Habit number two is practice what you preach. We've been talking about personal growth for uh, years and years and years, and this is us actually living the lifestyle that we're talking about. And then habit number three, get really good at what you do. Uh, deals with your skill set. And this entire week was packed with skill set building activities. Uh, you wouldn't even believe it. It's it's awesome. Welcome to the Alamo. This is the place where the actual battle happened. This was a four acre fort back then. You are on the southern end of the Alamo. It was four acres that way. So it had a plaza, a western wall was right where those buildings are across the street. Let's go inside the church building. Following this way. This was a Catholic church back then. The Spanish built it with the help of Native Americans. All the walls here are all original, made out of limestone rocks carved from San Antonio quarries. They're 262 years old. That's why nobody's allowed to touch the walls. When this was a Catholic church, that room over there was used for baptisms. That room over there was used for confessions. If you guys want, you can go and peek in there and look at those rooms. Hopefully none of you guys need to confess anything. Or maybe you want to pre-confess for stuff you're going to do later on tonight. <laughs> Habit number four is to mastermind your tribe and the people that we met and the relationships that we built um, and the partnerships and the relationships that, that we build and grow through the uh, Global Mastermind will, will, will be with us for the rest of our lives. I'm very excited about the people that we got to hang out with all week. And then habit number five is pay it forward. And we're very excited about some of the, some of the ideas coming out of this and we're very excited to be able to implement some of the things that we've come up with and also be able to uh, really make a difference in the world. I can't really go into a lot of detail now, but uh, the entire thing was themed about being able to help other people. And, uh, which is habit number more, five. Which is habit number five, right? So those are the five habits of success. And one of the reasons, like I said, that I love Global Mastermind is because all five of those habits are covered in this one event. So right behind us is the White House. Uh, what did you say it was the East Wing, David? This is the East Wing, yeah. And that's where we just got out of a, of a tour. So it was pretty, it was pretty amazing. But we're really excited about headed into um, helping at a local food pantry. So I'll be working in the kitchen. David will be serving food, and uh, it's a part of the kind of pay it forward aspect of the mastermind group that we joined. Yep, we call and it the Day of Service. Yeah, the day of service. So what we love about uh, the groups and or organizations that we spend our time with is they always have a portion that is a give back. So it's like leave it, leave the place better because you were there. So we're excited about that and uh, I don't cook very well so I hope they have lots of instructions. <laughs> We're just super excited about um, all the things that we learned and the people that we're, we were in the room with and the collaboration that went on and then the natural networking, the authentic uh, relationship building. So one of the things that I think is um, uh, very important to share is all of us are busy. I mean, you guys are on the line are probably like, I'd love to you know, attend one of these things. I'd love to go to them, but I just don't have time. So the thing that I want to share with you guys is we all have the same amount of time. And I am asking you almost like as a challenge or as a favor to just give it a try. Because what will happen is you'll go to an event like this and you'll come back fired up for your team. So I'm speaking a lot to the small business owners or the people that own gymnastics schools, which are like, you know, it's my tribe. You guys, get to a mastermind because you're gonna come back and you're gonna have a higher capacity 
to fill your team so that they can be more and grow more. And I think that is um, one of the most amazing things that when we started masterminding about 10 years ago, that is the best thing that I think ultimately from the beginning to now that, that I've gained. You know, Dave and I have several teams that we're uh, in charge of, but every team is gonna benefit because we took the time to fill ourselves and, and grow ourselves and to, to take that on and basically become selfless and grow and acknowledge the fact that we all need to grow and then to be surrounded by people in the room that have amazing stories and are um, so much more successful than us and are, are, are wanting to help and grow our teams. So I just want to do a special shout out uh, for Michael Silvers. It's his brainchild, this, this mastermind group, and he's done a very, very great job with it. And we are very excited to go into our second year of Global Mastermind Project uh, with Michael Silvers and because of Michael Silvers and the team and the group that he's put together. So yeah. uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Michael. You are the man. You are so awesome. Everything rises and falls on leadership, and you are the leader. So thank you, Michael. Right. Or as Randy Tate would say, the fish stinks from the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. Muller's out. Bye, guys. Bye.